Chapter 3. Give and Take Here, I have a number grid which has numbers from 1 to 100. We can use this number grid to add and subtract numbers. Now, using this number grid, let's first see how we can jump from 4 to 14. We can move from 4 like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we moved 10 blocks from 4 to reach 14, you see? But do you think there is a shortcut? Well, if you said yes, you're right. Just jump one row up. This means you have moved 10 blocks. In other words, it's 4 plus 10 equals 14. If you see over here, if you jump right, you're adding one number. And if you jump left, you're subtracting a number. So now let's move from 14 to 34. So we jump up once, and then we jump up once more. Now that is we've jumped 20 blocks from 14. So that's 14 plus 20 equals 34. Now let's see, how will you jump from 39 to 58. It can be done like this. There's 39 to 49, then there's 49 to 59. So that is 39 plus 20 equals 59. Now since we want to go to 58, we have to jump back one. So that's 59 minus 1 gives us 58. Or we can also try this another way. We can start by jumping one step back. That's from 39 minus 1 equals 38. So now we jump up two rows. So that's 38 plus 20 equals 58. So as you can see, 20 minus 1, which is 19, so we jumped 19 squares to reach 58. See how you can do it in different ways? So that was fun. Now let's try solving a few problems using the number grid again. So what does 57 minus 30 equal? We have 57. Let's jump down three rows. That's three tens. That is 47, 37, and 27. So 57 minus 30 equals 27. So let's try another number. We have 36 plus 18. So over here, if you look at the number 18, is 20 minus 2. So let's jump up two rows from 36 to 56. Now let's subtract 2 from 56. That gives us 54. So 36 plus 18 equals 54. Now this is just another way of doing it. So you see, you can do it in so many different ways. Now let's try another number, completely different. So we have 41 here plus dash equals 75. Now let's try to figure out what this dash number is. Let's count jumps from 41 to 75. So we have one, two, three. So we have three rows of tens. That means we have the number 30. And let's count from 71 to 75. That's one, two, three, four. We have 30 before, and now we have four ones, so that makes that 34, right? So we know that 41 plus 34 equals 75. Pretty easy, huh? That was fun to do. Now let's move on to something else. Adding made easy. Now, let's see how fast you can add this up in your mind. 23 plus 45 equals, you don't need to solve it in the typical way. You can solve it in any way you want to as long as you get the right answer. So let me show you a faster method. 23 can be written as 20 plus 3. That's two tens plus three ones. 45 is 40 plus five.
That's four tens plus five ones. So three plus five equals eight. And 20 plus 40 equals 60. Therefore, we have 23 plus 45 equals, that's right, 68. That was super fast, wasn't it? Let's do one more in a faster method. We have 47 plus 31 equals, we can mentally calculate it, 47 plus one from here, so that's 48. And 48 plus 30 equals 78. You see, see how super fast it was? Okay, let me show you one more. 32 plus 68 equals, to make the calculation faster, add up two from 32 to 68. So 68 plus two equals 70, that's right. And 70 plus 30 equals 100. See how fast that was? Okay, so let's try one last one. How about 47 plus 65? Let's count the ones. Seven plus five equals 12. Write two in your answer and remember this one which gets carried over. So that's six plus four plus one equals 11. So the answer is 112. Pretty fast, huh? I'm sure you're having loads of fun doing this.